confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed found on the cards of the QRX in front of you on page 105 of the hymnal, or in your hearts and minds. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to death. On the third day he rose again. He descended to heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge us living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. People of God gathered here and throughout the world, we offer our prayers for the church, those in need, and all of creation. For the church, for missionaries and teachers, clergy and laity, and all ministers who proclaim the gospel in word and deed, that the Son of Righteousness enlighten the whole earth, let us pray. For rivers and lakes, hills and mountains, fruits and vegetables, and animals great and small, that creation thrive, and that we care for all God has given us, let us pray. For all in authority at the local, state, provincial, national, and in international levels, and for our president-elect, for those who advocate for equity, and for relief workers and their supporters, let us pray. For those who hunger or thirst, for those who doubt or are terrified, for those who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, for Michael Feist, the family of Mary Ann, Gladys, and Gia, and for those who are listed in our prayer list, who we name in our hearts or aloud right now. And for caregivers that all experience the healing and comfort through Christ, let us pray. For those gathered in this place to hear the gospel and receive the good gifts of God through Jesus Christ, that guided by the Holy Spirit we serve our neighbor who is in need, let us pray. In thanksgiving for men and women of every time and place who have died in Christ, and that we follow their examples of faithful living, let us pray. Almighty God, you have promised to hear those who call upon your name. We commend all our spro spoken and silent prayers to you, trusting in your abundant mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the name of God, the Father of glory, in the name of God, the Son, our Redeemer, in the name of God, the Holy and Life-Giving Spirit. Amen. The Son of Righteousness shall rise with shining beams of healing. Let us gather under the wings of God's mercy. Gracious God, we acknowledge that we are sinners and we confess our sins, those known to us and heard in our hearts and those unknown to us, but seen by you. We know that before you nothing remains hidden, and in you everything is revealed. Free us from the slavery of sin, deliver us from the bondage of guilt, and work in us that which is pleasing in your sight, for the sake of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. With a heart full of mercy and compassion, God saves us and forgives us all our sins. Christ, the dawn from on high, shines upon us and by the light of the Holy Spirit guides our feet into the way of peace. Amen. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen.